Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of WP the Podcast. I'm Tim Streifler, and my co-host, David Blackman, couldn't be with me today, so I'm recording a few episodes solo, so he will be back with us in a few episodes. So unfortunately, you just have to hear my voice, and if you're watching on YouTube, you'll just have to see my face. So apologies for that. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the best LMS plugins for WordPress. Now, if you don't know what an LMS plugin in plugin is, it stands for learning management system. So if you think of CMS, which is what WordPress is, a content management system, a which allows you to add posts, pages, and content and, and manage it all from the, the WordPress dashboard. An LMS adds functionality to WordPress that allows you to add learning management content. So learning content, lessons and courses and, and stuff like that. So if you're someone who wants to create online courses with WordPress, or you want to create online courses for a client, uh, then you're going to need a LMS uh, plugin for WordPress. And so we're going to talk about the three biggest ones, and then we're going to give you, or I'm going to give you my personal recommendation. So the first one on the list is Lifter LMS. Now, Lifter LMS is actually the one that we highly recommend. Um, it's what David and I use for WPGears.com. So we have multiple online courses, the Divi Business Expert course, as well as the, the WordPress and Divi Beginner course. And uh, we use Lifter LMS. It's super powerful. It's very easy to use. It's a uh, very clean interface. Our students love it because it's very easy for them to navigate through uh, the, the the content and be able to um, not get hung up on the organization and trying to figure out where stuff is. Everything just makes sense and it's very easy to do. So we love Lifter LMS. On top of that, the team behind Lifter LMS are friends of ours, uh, Chris Badgett and uh, his uh, co-founder, uh, Thomas can't remember your name, last name, Thomas, my apologies. And uh, they are awesome. They're big uh, proponents of the WordPress community and the open source. And uh, they, they just give back a lot to the community. They have the awesome Facebook group. Um, if you just search Lifter LMS on Facebook, you'll find it. So very active. So they're super helpful and they have an awesome product. And so the way that Lifter works is it's free to use. And then they have paid extensions, paid add-ons. So they have uh, the the freemium model, also known as the WooCommerce model, just like WooCommerce. WooCommerce is free and there's add-ons and extensions that you pay for. So Lifter LMS works the same way. And you can actually do a heck of a lot with the free version. And so it's awesome way to get started for free building your first online course and stuff. And then you can decide if you need some of the add-ons later. So highly recommend that. Now, the second LMS on our list is LearnDash. Now, LearnDash is also highly recommended. It's awesome. Um, I, while I don't personally use it, I have several good friends, colleagues who use it and love it and highly recommend it. And um, I've met the the founder, uh, Justin Fairman, uh, a few times at different events. He's an awesome guy. I've interacted with him uh, online and uh, he, he's a great guy and, and has built an awesome company. He actually sold the company recently. I think he's still in that transition period where he's still managing the team and, and uh, facilit facilitating the transition, um, but uh, it's no longer under his ownership. Now, that can sometimes be a not great thing when the founder is no longer the owner and it's owned by a much bigger company. Uh, sometimes you lose some of the, the customer experience along the way and some of the things that made a product special can sometimes wither away uh, under the new ownership. Happens all the time with big acquisitions. So I'm not saying don't use it uh, for any means, but I'm just making you aware um, that the original founder and owner uh, is no longer owning the, the product and uh, is going to no longer be a part of it very soon. So that's definitely something to be aware of. Uh, LearnDash works differently than Lyft or LMS. There's no free version. Everything is premium. Um, but if I remember correctly, they do have a really good return policy. So you can get started with it and make sure it's something that you want to use before uh, uh, fully committing to it. So so that's that's another one. Um, 
And then the last one on our list, uh, I don't have a lot of experience with, but I hear it's good. And that's Tutor LMS. Uh, that's another uh, LMS plugin for WordPress. So those are basically the top three. There are some other ones out there, but in terms of uh, using an LMS plugin, that's been through the ringer, tried and true, definitely recommend choosing one of these three uh, with our top recommendation being Lifter LMS. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, episode seven, uh, 17. We are going to be talking about the best code editing software to use when you're building WordPress websites. So definitely stay tuned for that. Until tomorrow, we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.